do the horses, do the conic horses use the trees and the forest? Yes, they do. They definitely do. They use it to scratch, they use it to walk around, and they use it um, for, for catching less wind than when they are in the open field. So, I think it's very important for horses, uh, wild horses or rewilded horses or whatever you call it, uh, to give them the opportunity to get away from the wind and the sun and uh, horrible weather circumstances. This is all on an island and I have to admit that the circumstances of the weather sometimes are pretty rough there. Um, and I also have to admit that I don't go there when it's raining often. That's more because of my uh, equipment, because it gets wet and, and so on. Here we see the uh, foal born filly, I think it's called. It's a female filly. And obviously she's going to be blonde, but I'm not sure about that. We never know for sure what color uh, they get yet. They change. Um, she's inventing, she's ex uh, she's she's exploring the environment. She has a very naive brain. That's what all foals have. They, they are born with a brain, but they still have to develop their skills. At the left here you see the stallion. And you can see very good how they are looking around and trying to uh, find out about their, their um, environment. Also about the other horses. They are very interested, they are very curious. Um, you see the mother and the filly. They are very curious. Um, oh no, this is the male foal. This is a foal of only four days of age at this moment. And he's looking around, he's walking, he's drinking, he sort of doesn't know what to do, and he sleeps a lot. He lies down a lot, which is normal for, for fillies to do. You see, the self-grooming behavior is already there. This, that's pure instinct. Um, that they already know how to scratch themselves, how to, um, how to do those kind of things. And the social contact, though, is something different. Now he's walking to the trees and I just uh, found it very interesting how soon they discover how you can use the environment for scratching your body. Uh, it's April now and soon he will be changing his coat in, in summer coat even though foals uh, in general have a different coat compared to the uh, grown-ups. And that's the reason is pure biological because they need more uh, protection against uh, rain and, and, and things. So. And they're very vulnerable. Uh, young horses, foals, fillies are very vulnerable, so they have to protect, um, get protection from the outside. Ah, very charming being, or not? Yeah. <laughs> um, looking around, you can see all the, the information coming in, ears, looking forward, looking back. There's a lot, uh, there's so much that a young foal has to learn before he becomes uh, more mature. So, you can also see that the <coughs> hind legs are still very, ooh, well, weak is a wrong word, but not developed yet. Uh, the foal can walk, can move, but really walking, that takes some time. Here you see him use the environment. He already has found out how, how you can scratch your own body uh, using the, the branches of the, in this case, a dead tree. Um, and that's what they do all the time. They, they are very busy, they are they're very active, um, looking around, sleeping, and then be active again, also uh, interacting with the environment. Using his teeth, uh, ex experimenting with how, what happens when I do this, what happens when I do that. And in case you might think, oh, he's already mature, he knows, he doesn't know anything yet. There's so much to learn for these youngsters experimenting, smelling, biting things, and also learn that you don't bite other horses. <laughs> other horses will correct this uh, young young guy. Yeah, you see here how he stands on, on the hind legs, or the weak hind legs. It all will be okay in a few uh, weeks. Uh, then he will definitely be <laughs> scratching your, your, your neck. It will all be okay, and he will be very strong uh, soon. He has a good pair of legs. Uh, perhaps it doesn't look uh, like a dressage horse, but these are not dressage horses. These are oh, 
these are horses who, who live here, who get born here, who will die here too, because I missed um, one or two mares. Anyway, I don't know what happened. Perhaps she gave birth to a foal and she's just somewhere else on the island. I'm not sure. All this behavior, I find it very fascinating uh, to, to, to uh, put it on a movie. And there comes the, the male, uh, female foal. I find it very fascinating to put it in a movie so you can see how they explore and how they learn and how they develop. Uh, the more you see. When I bring people um, to this place, then, then I know that many people see moving horses. They don't see the individuals. You don't, if you don't know the story of who is who belongs to who and, and who is friended, uh, then you only see moving horses, which might also be interesting, uh, also be fun. But it gets more interesting when you are able to identify the individuals, and like this, uh, the mare, the, the female foal, uh, Philly, comes to to the mill, uh, and she she's more, uh, she knows how I, I I'm I'm not a big fan of foals, not not the way ah, he gets excited. Now you can see very very nice. This is typical male behavior. This is what males do when they get excited when they're mature. Also instinctual behavior. Giving, um, uh, well, giving answer on your excitement. Um, they're studying each other from a distance, from a very, very safe distance. Uh, I heard from other people who were there and that they already played together, which is a good thing and nice to hear. And we are expecting more falls to come, so it will just be a matter of uh, time or how long it uh, will take. The mare at the right uh, is in season, that means that she's ready to mate. And I have to say, where's the male, I think? Yeah, that's the male. He's always at the back. Um, so she's very popular at this moment with the male uh, uh, youngsters, yearlings, and with the stallion just before I saw them mating. <laughs> I have to laugh over that filly at the back. She definitely has found out how, how useful the environment is when you want to scratch yourself. Then you just do this, you put your head down in the branch and then you scratch. There's the mother. Um, the longer I am together with these horses, the more I know and I can feel that, that they are really showing their own behavior. I'm just part of their, I'm just a spectator. And that's exactly what I want to do. I don't want to uh, I'm not uh, curious about the interaction with me or whatever. I'm curious about how do they behave, what do they do, how do they um, evaluate, uh, go to maturity. Again, excitement, you see the scratching. So I hope to get more movies. And then something unexpected happened. Uh, what was it? The left, I saw this yearling coming, and he was, uh, I was too late with my video, and he was snapping. And first I thought, is he doing that for me? But then I saw, ah, no, he's at the left, you see the stallion, there you see the mare in season. Uh, right next to her is her, her, her foal from last year. And this white foal, filly, foal, I'm sorry, male foal is very, very interested in this mare because she's in season, but he's also very careful with his dad, so he has to snap, uh, show the, the, the stallion that he's submissive, uh, that he doesn't mean anything, but he wants to see it. And I like this part because he was definitely thinking over how to approach his mare at the closest distance. Okay, that's enough for now. Hope you like the movies.